What's up, Mother Puffers? It's Sam from Puff It Up, and today we will be cleaning the core from Shenzhen Crossing. We'll be using 70% ISO and 91%. We'll also be using Q-tips, and don't forget your gloves. Let's get into it. First, you'll want to start by pulling off the glass by gently pulling it away from the base. And then one thing to note about the glass is there are two separate compartments. There's one in the bottom and one in the top, so you'll want to put ISO in both when cleaning. Just pour a little bit in. You don't need that much. And then you just cover the top. I usually put my whole hand on it and shake it around. Next, you'll want to remove your vapor dome and your carb cap. You'll want to wipe these down with ISO. You'll want to clean them more regularly to provide more time in between deep cleanings. Next, you'll want to unscrew the coil from the base. You'll want to press down slightly and turn counterclockwise and then Screw it out, like so. And if you are cleaning the bucket coil, you can take it off the same way. It does have a coin slot on the top, so you can use a quarter to turn it out. First, you wanna take a paper towel and ISO and just wipe it down on the outside. So once you get all of the residue off of the outside, you'll wanna grab your Q-tip dip it in a little bit of ISO, and swab the inside of the bucket. You can also take the bucket off and you can dip it in the ISO. You just don't want to soak the atomizer itself. So as a final step, we're just gonna clean the air pathway. It is super important not to get ISO into your device, so you'll want to turn the device upside down when cleaning it. You'll wanna get just a little bit of ISO and do gentle swabs again with the device upside down. It's good to take a paper towel to get any of the extra ISO out of the 510 threading. Remember to clean the vapor path within the device as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Go follow our social media accounts and like this video.